Is it time to settle your workers' compensation case? Should you settle early? We're talking about that right now. Hi, I'm Naomi from Gonzalez Law, empowering Californians through legal education. So when do workers' compensation cases usually settle? Well, normally workers' compensation cases settle after you have reached permanent and stationary. In other words, when you have those final reports with all your final numbers, you are ready to enter settlement negotiations. But what we're talking about today is early resolution, early settlement. Early settlement would be considered any time you settle before you've reached permanent and stationary. Usually this can happen at a deposition or even before a qualified medical evaluation takes place. There's two types of early settlement. One, settlement based on a nominal value. And two, settlement based on an estimated case value. One, a nominal settlement value. When you settle for a nominal value, you're not actually settling for the value of your case. Instead, what you're settling is for the value of litigation. So for example, if you were to continue your case all the way to the end, the defense would probably have to pay for a deposition, some hearings, um, going to a qualified medical evaluator, different costs of litigation. In a nominal settlement, what they're saying is, hey, instead of spending money on your litigation costs, give us the money, we'll settle and we'll move on with life. Most people are not a good candidate for this type of settlement. Usually we only move forward with this type of settlement if either one, they have a very weak case. If we continue with the case, more information is gonna come out that actually works against our interest. So let's go ahead and settle while we're ahead. Or two, the injured worker for whatever reason isn't able or willing to move forward with litigation. They do not wanna be in litigation for an, a year, two years, however long it's gonna be. And they just wanna settle and move on with life. It's possible to do this type of settlement without any kind of medicals, but it is definitely more risky and harder to estimate how much of the value it should be. The other reason someone might settle in a nominal value is because their injury is almost fully recovered. They were injured, but by the time they're at a deposition or before going to a qualified medical evaluator, they're pretty much ready to go. They're pretty much back to normal. So the idea would be, let's go ahead and settle instead of going to this deposition where they're gonna ask questions and find out you're almost well, or instead of going to a qualified medical evaluator where they're gonna do examination and not find any objective findings. I'm sure you can imagine a nominal settlement, the value of settlement is not very high. Usually they range, depending on the strength of your case, between 1,000 and 20,000, with a lot of cases settling around the $5,000 mark. Now the second kind of early settlement is based on estimated case value. For that kind of settlement, you absolutely need some sort of medicals. You need to have been examined by a doctor to get a diagnosis and get an idea of what might be wrong. Specifically, your attorney would have to know what your diagnosis is, what they estimate your permanent disability will be when everything is said and done, and also your future medical recommendations. They also need to kind of have an idea of how long you'll probably be off work to gauge how much temporary disability benefits you might acquire. With all that information coming together, your attorney will present to the defense what their estimated case value is. And I'm sure you can imagine the defense would have estimated their own. The injured worker side usually estimates higher and the defense side usually estimates lower. So if you can meet somewhere in the middle where you both can agree, then you might get an early resolution based on estimated case value. So there's pros and cons to early resolution as opposed to continuing your case all the way to the end. But to explore pros and cons, look at this video right here. And if you would like to talk to us about your case, go ahead and text this consult and we'll be very happy to talk to you. And don't forget to press like so more people can be empowered. Thank you, bye.